Hi guys, my name is Gauri Patil and I'm here as the BSMD expert for Med School Coach here to tell you about my top four tips for students who are looking to get into BSMD programs. So my number one tip would be to start early and by that I mean two things. Number one, I mean starting early means recognizing your interest in medicine as early as possible and then doing whatever you can to immerse yourself in the field. When you apply to these programs, they're going to ask you, why are you interested in medicine and how do you know that it's right for you? The best way to convince them is to have the experience to show for it. And the earlier you start, the more time you have to shadow doctors, volunteer in hospitals, and do research. The more time you have, the more experience you have, and the more convincing of an application you can present. The second thing I mean by starting early is getting started on your application process as early as possible. When you apply to these BSMD programs, you are applying to both an undergraduate school as well as a medical school. And as you can imagine, that means you have twice as many essays to write, twice as many applications, twice as many deadlines, and overall twice as much work. The earlier you start, the better chance you have of presenting a strong application. If you start too late, you might not have enough time to catch up and you might not have enough time to present your best application. My second piece of advice is to go into high school keeping in mind that you need a high GPA and strong test scores. The BSMD programs are some of the most competitive programs in the country and their applicant pool is extremely qualified with high GPAs and excellent test scores. So that means that you need to develop a strong work ethic so that you can maintain good grades and start early on your standardized test scores so you can pinpoint your weaknesses and have more time to do better and get better scores if that is necessary. Again, these programs are extremely difficult. So the higher your scores and the higher your uh, grade averages, the better chance you have at moving forward in the application process. My third piece of advice for students looking to get into these BSMU programs is to stay organized. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot that goes on in this application process. You've got just applying to your regular undergraduate school, but on top of that, you are also applying to a medical school, and that means you've got a lot of information to take care of. To make sure you don't get too overwhelmed or lost in the entire process, it's smart to stay organized and start as early as possible. My recommendation is to create an Excel sheet once you've uh, narrowed down your list of potential colleges and programs and write down what are the application dates, what are the specific requirements, and what are the program interests. Every program is individual and unique in its own way and so you're going to have to tailor your application individually for each program that you apply to. Some schools are looking to accelerate your medical education while others are looking for a stronger focus in the liberal arts. Whatever it may be, you need to make sure that you start early and stay organized so that when you're writing your application, you know exactly what you need to do to present exactly what you have to for that school. Uh, this Excel sheet is going to come in handy later on all the time if you do it properly. You're not going to have to go and use Google search every time you have a question about an essay topic or a deadline, but rather can just refer to this one master sheet. And my fourth and probably biggest piece of advice is to just not take it personally. Like I mentioned, these are some of the most competitive uh, programs in the country and even if you have the perfect application, you still might not get in. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that we don't know about and you, there's really also no control of that. So even if you don't get in, don't take it personally, continue having the same amount of passion you have for medicine throughout your undergraduate years and continue to apply in uh, your senior year of undergrad. Students who apply to these programs are generally already very self-motivated and hardworking so they have no problem getting into medical school down the line. So with that, those are my four tips for students who are looking to get into BSMD programs. I hope they were helpful for you. If you have more questions, log on to medschoolcoach.com and you can get more information. Thanks.